So I am excited to be back on here and I'm going to show you what it's like when I go to the bins. So hopefully you guys will be excited about that and want to see more of it. Um, and you can go digging with me. So I went to the dentist today, so I'm trying really hard to use my words, <laughs> but be patient with me. So yesterday I was at the bins in Denver, which is the closest, well, the one on the north side is the closest one to me. And that's my normal everyday go-to bins. Although I don't go every day, I probably go once every two weeks, 10 days, two weeks. So um, I'm gonna show you what I found while I was there. And a lot of it is for me too. So when I go, I go shopping for me and my friends and family and I'm like their personal shopper at the bins. So let me show you what I got. And I found three bags of, uh, maybe I can get to, we'll get to the other one here in a minute. Three bags of diapers in my grandbaby size. So this is huge. If you buy diapers, you know how expensive they are. So excited to find the right size diapers. So I have plenty from my house and then send to send home with him. I do pick up a lot of clothes when I go because they're so lightweight um, for the most part and they're easy to ship. So um, a friend gave me this one cool, right? It's great when you make friends at the bins because you guys can help each other out. So I really enjoy going with other people and getting excited for the same things. Like when they find something, I get excited for them. A friend of mine yesterday found a Tory Burch purse. Yay! Good for you. He found a Gucci purse too. It's pretty rough, but good for him. I'm so happy for him, but um, it's more fun to share your excitement whenever you are with other people. So this is a um, free people dress. Very lacy, very cute. So free people, um, it's, an, it's a size 10. Um, these little stringy things, I don't know how you would wear that, but I mean, I couldn't wear it, but it would look so cute on somebody. <laughs> so I wash all of my fabrics before I list them and send them out. So um, tell me how you guys process it. I'd like to know. Um, this is a Michael Stars, just a cute little t-shirt. Uh, let's see, it's a size, it says one size. I mean, I guess, maybe, okay. Michael Stars, always a tried and true seller. How cool is this one, right? I don't know if you can see it in this light, but there's like flocking on it. Um, it's a cookie. So it's an extra, extra large. So it's a great size for this brand. There you can kind of see the flocking on it. But it's just a button down shirt. I like it. That, that brand does well for me. So love a chambray. Everybody uh, ha should have a chambray something in their closet. This is a dress and it's got some, um, I would say rayon in it. Um, it doesn't say, oh, tinsel, of course it does. And it's a philosophy, which also is a good one for me, um, extra large. This is a soft surroundings, can you see that? Um, and it is a medium. And it's really uh, loosey, goosey feeling. It's got like some stretch to it, so it's pretty slimming. I don't always pick up Miss Me jeans, but uh, a friend of mine said, hey, if you find some, I need a size 30. So found her some, she's gonna be happy. Uh, and we'll get those sent out to her, so she's excited. I hope she's excited, actually, she doesn't know yet, but I also picked up this Miss Me tank top that I think she'll like too. It's got some great studded, beaded accents on it. I know that they do a lot of other clothes, but I never really noticed it before until I accidentally saw a couple pieces of the bins. So, how cool is that? Oh, my littlest grandbaby is gonna love this. And it, it's time for a song. It Did works. Oh, I can tell that's gonna be annoying already. Let's turn that off. <laughs> uh, I have a Cricut machine and 
it's nice to always pick up these things so that because these are you know like ten dollars seven to ten dollars and if I can get it for a dollar and a half I'm cool with that right and we will um, put stuff you know cute sayings and things on it I pick this stuff up um, and pool noodles when I find them that's really hard to say with my <laughs> with my numb lip so pool noodles and uh, this stuff which is piping insulation and I cut them to the to size and put them inside boots and it helps boots keep their shape so uh, and I ship a lot of boots it's it's nice that they're in there and the customer appreciates that since it's a pool noodle again doesn't weigh much um let's see I say that a lot don't I um I'm not a big uh, pink reseller but um, I have family uh, some junior high high school kids that love uh, this stuff so I picked up two pieces and I'm gonna send them home to them. Uh, it's nice to get surprises in the mail, so I'm gonna be sending that home shortly. And I'm throwing everything over there so I can get it ready for the laundry. Another, uh, oh, this, I thought it was philosophy. It's not, this is theory. How do you guys do with theory? Do you do well with it? Does it sell well for you? I know it's a pricey brand, but it's sort of hit or miss for me. Uh, I like the quality of it and I would love to wear it, but I don't always, I don't always pick it up. I, let's see, this, I wish you could feel it because it feels like really nice leggings. Uh, it's an Isis and they've not, uh, they've gone out of business. I, understandably, what a horrible situation for them to have this, this name, Isis. <laughs> they had it before all the other stuff so this is a size small and they do have a good following the people that like them like like them this is good quality stuff it's a small otherwise I would so be wearing that Herschel pencil bag although school supplies are not a huge thing this year uh, Herschel is a very good brand and they have their, their things are guaranteed for life so I do like to pick them up if they're in pretty decent condition and that one doesn't look like it's hardly been used uh, also the sports sack another pencil bag these are so lightweight and 10 or 12 dollars for these I had a little sports sack I have a, an emotional attachment to these as well because I had the sports sack when I was in high school so I wish I could do I wash everything I do I do wash everything unless it's a something that I can't wash, like a really old vintage leather piece. Actually, I have a piece that's coming up later and I'll tell you about that. Or something that I have to take to the dry cleaners. I do have a local dry cleaner that I use and they're, they've been wonder, wonderful to me. There it is again with the, I just had dental stuff done. So I do take things to get to, to the dry cleaner. Um, I just had a coat that I picked up and it was about $24, $25 to get the coat done. So I do consider that whenever I pick things up. Is it worth it? Do I think that I'm going to be able to recoup my $25 that I've spent? But I do. I, I, it's a, This is a reflection on me when I send it to someone else. So I want it to be clean. If I can't get it clean and I still think it's a viable piece, I note it in the listing and just make sure and hope that the buyers actually read <laughs> the description. So I know that that's trouble. These are free people. My daughter looked at them this morning. Look at the zippers on the back, that zipper detail. She says these look like they're for children. Well, they're uh, a smaller size. I can't see the label anymore. It's you know worn away but the button was a giveaway it says free people on it so uh, probably why someone else hadn't picked it up I would venture to say that these are probably a size 25 24 25 they're smaller but always an easy sell for me now a friend of mine that was there he doesn't pick up a lot of stuff that is going to be 14 14 99 or or you know in that aim that price range because he wants those higher dollars but for me I don't mind the $14.99 the $10.99 so that I can 
continue to get more stuff, that stuff adds up. So I don't mind the lower prices. This is uh, Piranha, which is one of my favorite brands to pick up. I, I like it. It sells well. This is a medium, an oversized, like a popover shirt. So it feels like a linen, but it, or I mean, it looks like a linen, but it's a cotton. I really like this staple piece. It's a long sweater. It's got pockets. It's uh, an open front and just as a nice extra piece to keep, you know, warm, have at the office. It's uh, an ASOS. It doesn't say what size it is, but I would probably say that this is a one size fits all sort of a thing. It doesn't say, in, let's, let's see what it says over here. Oh, it says extra small. I would not have guessed that because it's fairly roomy. I mean, even the shoulders are pretty broad across there. I would say that this could even be a large. It's roomy enough. So remember that leather thing I was telling you about? These are vintage leather, um, like German, oh, the, the word is escaping me net right now. You could, Lederhosen, it's, <laughs> it's Lederhosen. I have picked up Lederhosen in the past and they sell for great money. They don't sell quickly but they do sell for great money. These are from Germany and they say they're a size 50. <laughs> no, McCain. So, you know, again, they, they aren't gonna sell quickly, but they are gonna sell for good money. Ugh, I got, <laughs> I've got a hole. I've got a pile of stuff. This I just wanted for me. I've been on the tour down in Golden and I didn't buy a shirt because I knew I'd find one eventually. And these are Patagonias. These were right on top of uh, a brand new, can you see the, of a brand new bin. Uh, let's see, there it is. They're a men's medium. And they're that nice wicking material, good pockets. Nice length. Not very many like blemishes or stuff, but I even pick up Patagonia if it's in semi not good condition because there are people that like that. They want to look like they have stories to tell that go with it. And I talk about that a little bit whenever I list it. You know, some of these have got some epic adventures and feel free to embellish these tarnishes as part of your epic adventure. If you want to, you know, add to it, that's fine too. Cute little pink uh, Patagonia uh, tank top. It's a medium, good staple piece. Uh, Chris handed this one over to me. I think I'm gonna wear this. It's sort of that engineer denim. Uh, when I say engineer, like train engineer, it's got that stripe to it. Uh, Isabella Bird. That's an anthropology brand. It's 100% cotton, size 10, nice long. I like the way it fits across, across the top. I think I'm gonna wear that with a pair of red boots. Wouldn't that be cute? Um, another La Sport sack. This one um, doesn't look like it's been hardly used at all either. An easy 10 bucks, so. This one is perfect for hopefully New Year's get-togethers, New Year's parties. Maybe not this year, but maybe next year. Maybe we'll have drop a ball in July this year and next year instead. So it's a hot hippie. It's a size large. It's a little bit heavy, but the comps on hot hippie were good, especially the sequined ones. So this thing probably weighs a pound and a half. It's pretty heavy in good condition, not missing any beads. And I do look for that whenever I'm purging and sorting in my uh, cart. <laughs> so I told you, I went to the dentist. It's starting to get a little bit tingly. I'm getting some feeling back. <laughs> this is a Maeve corduroy dress. I do have a little bit of a button thing that I need to, s luckily the button's here, but I need to tighten up that button, sew it back on. But cute little basic corduroy dress. It's a size six. It looks bigger than a six to me though, but um, have you found that Maeve runs 
true to size or does it run big for you? I'm curious. I have another chambray piece. This one is another Isabella Bird, a size 16. And I love the detailing on that chambray. It's a dress, like a, a like right above the knee dress. And it feels really pretty. It says that it's, oh, of course, it's 70% silk, 30% linen. So it's made with all nice things. But isn't it cute? So um, again, I'm gonna get it all washed. And I treat these things like they're my clothes. So if I would hang it to dry or lay it flat to dry, I do those things. Pilcrow and the letterpress. Cute little white jeans. I'll put these online because they're really off season right now. But um, they don't have any pulling and, tuck and puckering across here, which is, you see that a lot with jeans at the bins. So, um, these don't look like they were worn too much, although the tag is coming off a little bit. I can probably tack that back down. I like Lucky Brand. I don't know that I, I don't wear a lot of Lucky Brand, but I like to sell Lucky Brand. Little tags hanging there a little bit. This is a medium, like a, you know, Japanese or Chinese inspired style to it. They're usually pretty lightweight and their, you know, ratio of cost to income is usually pretty good. I do weigh that heavily. It's important to know your numbers and stuff. Uh, articles of, oh yeah, Articles of Society, also an anthro brand. They sell at other places too, but no puckering on this one. It's a good size and it uh, is in pretty good condition. It's a 30 but they look nice. I'm not, I don't love the lighter colors on me personally, but they sell well, so happy with that. There's a guy there that does a lot of active wear and outdoor gear, and I found a really nice like puffer coat, and I wasn't gonna sell it and, you know, or do anything with it, and I thought maybe he'd like it, so I gave it to him, and then later he found um, a Lulu hoodie and he threw it my way and I am grateful for it. So it's in pretty good condition. However, these things do have a tendency to fade, especially the darker colors, still sell well. So I picked up this thing and I could not, it's got a little bit of damage on the ear. Couldn't tell, there's no really tag on it, but it's got this little button on its ear, this little silver button, which made me think I know this, I know, I recognize this, I know what this is, but I couldn't read it. So I got my glasses out, still couldn't read it. I asked a kid with young eyes, can you look at it? He couldn't read it either. So I took a picture of it and then blew it up and it did, it said Stife on it, so I was super excited. I just like them. And then when I was walking back, <laughs> I found one on the floor, it was on the floor. So you can see, see that he's got the little tag on him too. He used to have, you probably can't see from here, but he's got the, the little yellow tag that used to hang from him. Somebody's cut it off. But anyway, I thought how appropriate for the, <laughs> during election year, that we've got a donkey and an elephant. Maybe I'll sell them as a set. Maybe that's a good idea. I don't know. So this is a Levi's Pearl Snap button up chambray. Chambray is always good. I do pick them up if I see a good brands like Banana Republic, I'll pick up a, um, a chambray. A J. Crew, I'll pick up a chambray. Um, sometimes I'll do like off things that I don't, like Land's End and L.L. Bean, I'll, I'll always pick those up because they sell quickly. So we were just talking though, I'm not sure that this is, is this a Target tag do you think? that? I know that they sell in other venues other than just um, the, the typical department stores in their own Levi's shops, but I, is, am I right in saying that I think that this is from Target? Anyway, you guys will know. Let me know later. Ooh, let's see. This fleece, I've got a little bit of um, pilling uh, to do. But this is called Roan, and when I looked it up, the comps on it were pretty good. 
I've not seen a lot of this brand and it felt nice. It feels kind of like a, a butter sweater from uh, Patagonia. So I did pick this one up because it felt nice and then when I checked the comps, it was a good pick. Whew, almost done guys. No, not really. <laughs> These are great. This is a um, typeset drawer for an old um, newspaper. It's already got the hanger on the back, so somebody hung this thing up and you put little trinkets and knickknacks and stuff in them. You should check the comps on these. Wow. So I always look at shoes. I don't always find a lot of great shoes. Um, and then sometimes I find everything awesome just shoes. So let's see. I hesitated on these. I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to pick these up but they're Kate Spades, but heels during COVID have not been terribly good sellers. I guess not a lot of places to go to wear the heels, you know? But the Kate Spades, I picked them up. I'm willing to take a chance on them because um, it's getting to be the season, you know, the season with the suede, but I don't know how the heels are gonna do. How are heels selling for you guys? I'm curious to know. This was in the, uh, in with the purses and stuff. And I just like grabbed a couple of things and actually got it by accident because I was picking up a Dooney Burke. This, um, Anthropology. So it says that it was $38 and it doesn't show where there's like a sticker over the top of it for sale. So cool, right? Green, it says it's genuine leather. Look how tiny these little Ferragamos are. So this is Salvador Ferragamo, and they're in great condition, but they are teeny tiny. Uh, it says six, but a six narrow maybe? They're beautiful, but very tiny. Um, where's the other one of these? This brand, I've got a little bit of cleaning up to do on it. They're called Sidewalk, but it's spelled C-Y-D-W-O-Q. Huh, they're made in the United States. These are a 39 and a half. Isn't that funny? They, they've got European sizing, but made in the USA. They've got a funky little shape to them and a weird little shaped heel. Really great comps. Easy to, and it looked like they sold often. We'll talk about the receipts in a minute. I do pick up manila envelopes when I find them great for shipping. So, Tory Birch flip flops. I looked and looked and looked for the second one, and then a friend of mine, he says, I think this lady's got your other Tory Burch. He's so observant. I like put my head down and I just start digging and I don't like look up. I'm not, I don't, I just work. I'm down, you know? He says, oh, she's got your flip flop. And I said, oh, you do, you have my other flip flop. Maybe we could, you know, and I started to say, maybe we could flip for it. And she says, ah, oh, here, you can have it. I don't want it. Yay, thanks. So the bad part about it is that the sizing is gone, so I'm gonna have to measure it and figure out what the size is, but yay, Tory Burch flip-flops. I grabbed this as I was going out the door. Tim McGraw, remember when we used to be able to go to concerts? Um, Tim McGraw and the Dance Hall Doctors, it doesn't have a date on, oh wait, 2003. I have seen Tim McGraw in concert, and he is ugh, adorable. And it smells good, so that's always a good plus, right? This, um, I pay glass weight for, so it's 69 cents a pound if it's glass weight. And this is a Pyrex divided uh, milk glass dish. So I know that sometimes when you find them at Goodwill, they've got like $15 on them. I like paying 69 cents a pound for them. I do pick up bubble wrap when I find it. Um, and then this is the first time that I've picked these up. I see a lot of people post about these things. They're salt and pepper shakers, but I cannot remember the name of these things. I know it's not F Fenton, right? What are these things called? Remind me, tell me what these are. I forgot. Salt and pepper shakers. There's no cork in the bottom of them anymore. Oh, and there's numbers on the bottom. If that means anything, it says, one five one one, fifteen eleven.
when I found the bubble wrap, I put them in the bubble wrap to make sure that they did get broken. Sometimes I'm amazed that some things don't get broken in the bins and they survive that stuff. So I have been looking for one of these. And what's funny is I wondered if this was true. I picked this up at the Goodwill outlet, but it has an ARC sticker on it. Huh, makes me wonder. Does ARC take things to the Goodwill outlet? Does anybody know? I don't know. These things aren't cheap when you go to buy them, trust me. I tried to buy one all summer. Sometimes I'm at the store, like the real store, Walmart or Target or something, and I just can't bring myself to buy stuff retail. It just seems so expensive. Well, I can eventually find it at the bins, so. Uh, this was in the bag, and it is in great condition. A Brighton bag. It's got like a snake skin on it. Let's see. Looks like a phone would go in here maybe. <laughs> I went to go grab my phone. You're my phone. <laughs> Duh. Nah. I'm sure everybody does that too. Cute little purse, Brighton. This was the first thing I picked up when I walked in the door. Woo! They're a size eight. Obviously need to do a little bit of cleanup to them. I don't know what you guys use. I use a Mr. Clean Sponge is what I use on it. Uh, and then I loaded it full of stuff. And these are new in the package. So if you come to stay at my house and forget your toothbrush, I got you covered, okay? I handed one to my daughter the other day and it was new in the package and she goes, where did you get this? <laughs> it's fine. It's new in the package. Use it. It's better than not using it, right? I mean, right? You would use it, wouldn't you? I'm not real sure of this brand. It says Leisure Felt, but it's 100% wool, and it is in really cute, uh, it's a really cute hat, and I thought it was in nice condition. It looks like it might have been kind of expensive. So, I've been looking at these. My daughter's been looking at these. I know that I can take it to the consignment shop. So all good things with this thing. And then I picked this one up. It's a sun hat or a flappy hat, but it's Cavu. I've kind of steered away of, of getting some of the bigger brimmed hats because they're kind of a pain to ship. And they can actually get expensive to ship if the brim is pretty big because the box gets to be a bigger size. Just a little hint on that. So um, the, the hats, aren't always something that I pick up anymore, but it's lightweight, it's Cavu, so it's an easy sale, and um, I think I can put it into a smaller box with the brim up. So, cute though, right? Also, um, a snapback hat. I don't think it's vintage because it's got uh, the, the, the code inside, but it does look like it's a smaller size, like a, yeah, youth small. So an, an easy 10 or $15. Doesn't weigh anything. Topo Designs, ooh, Topo is super popular. And they're from Denver area. This doesn't have a size on it, but um, these, the, I recently sold one that was wool and I got $20 for it. Oh, I still have another bucket. Hang in there. I'm having fun. We found a lot of great stuff. I wish you could see all of the great stuff that all my friends picked up too. Um, but you'll just have to tune into their page. So this is another Levi's chambray. And it's a heavier chambray, but look at this tag. I think this one is from the Levi's shop or from um, one of the better um, department stores. And it has recently been dry cleaned. So some of you were asking whether or not I would wash everything. It was in a dry cleaning bag when I picked it up, so I probably won't wash this one. It's in good shape, and it smells good, so that's that's always a thing. I picked up a bag yesterday. It was a La Sport sack, and it was a big bag, so it would have done really well, but it smelled weird. It was in good condition. It looked great, but it had this weird smell to it, so I threw it back, so that's almost worse than, like, stains or holes sometimes because you can't always get rid of it. So I don't know if you can see that, Christian Dior. There are no other like uh, tags on it that say what the content is. 
it feels really pretty like a brushed merino and it smells good <laughs> this one is kind of cool so it's a wide um, scarf that has like this tie-dye floral pattern on one side and then um, a plaid on the other it's uh, a piranha which again is one of my favorite brands to sell I don't know why I mean, I would love to wear Piranha a little bit more, but it is pricey if you go to like buy it and stuff. Oh, it's so cute. I just love, and look, it's like two scarves in one. Oh, adorable. So I have several scarves up on my Poshmark right now, and I've sold several on Poshmark. So, well, let's see, one. I've sold one, but I've got, I had six on. This I got a special pricing on because it weighed seven pounds. But, um, so they did a special pricing of anything less than $10 is $5, or 10, anything less than 10 pounds is $5. So I picked this up for the grandbaby. Anyway, it's supposed to be good for their brain. So that's always good. Hoka's. I had, there was another pair of Hoka's there, but they weren't in great condition. So I didn't pick them up. These have decent traction on the bottom not great but decent and the rest of it looks pretty good I will put these things in the washer and then I have shapers that I put in them and then set them out to dry I don't put them in the dryer they're a 12 and a half oh 2e so that's wide oh, I don't know anyway uh, men's hoka shoes good condition they'll be in better condition once I get them cleaned up and I'm sure a lot of you guys do that too. Don't you all clean a lot of your shoes? I see the videos about how you, the how-tos on how to do it. Good for you. You guys are a little more ambitious with some of that than I am, so. I thought these were Kate Spade at first. Can you see the polka dots that are on them? They've got um, diamonds and spades and clubs and stuff on them, but they're a scotch and soda. They do have a few little blemishes that I am gonna have to get out, and I think I can do that. Um, I think I'm gonna do it with Actually, I think I'm going to do it with toothpaste. That peroxide and um, baking soda really does whiten stuff up. This is uh, Onx by Brighton, a men's belt. Men's belts do much better for me from Brighton than women's belts. I don't know if you guys have that same experience also, but for me, they do. There's that other package of diapers. I knew there was three. There was another one somewhere. This is counted as linens. I think it was 29 cents a pound, 49 cents a pound. So this is a uh, throw. It's like a, a sweater, an ugly sweater, <laughs> Christmas sweater throw. But, and the tags, like the content tags have been removed, but this tag was not, and it says Pottery Barn. So this is a really good sell especially this time of year. So I will uh, run it through the dryer with a dry L sheet and get that thing listed right away because now's the time to be listing that kind of stuff. This has got some cleaning to do. Thanks, Chris, for tossing it my way, but this is a Tumi, Tumi bag. You can see the, uh, the label on the inside also. So Tumi bag, it's got the, uh, the numbers on it. It smells good, <laughs> and it does have some things that need to be cleaned on it. So this is a spot clean thing, and Tumi has uh, on their website guides for you to be able to know how to wash their stuff. My aunt, who you've met, sells this kind of stuff, a lot of it. Um, this, is her, this is her main wheelhouse. This is the kind of stuff that she goes to. And had she have been here with me, um, I would have said, here, take these. But she has inspired me to get a couple of them. If you haven't looked these kinds of things up, do. Do look to see, because if you've got a local restore or um, Habitat for Humanity, a lot of times you can find these kinds of things. This is uh, American Tack and How Company, 1968. These prints and patterns, of course, they don't make these anymore, and people that are redoing their homes uh, they look for this stuff so 
they can replace things that they have. I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and I'll probably do them as a lot of these um, American Tack and How switch plate covers. They uh, surprised me when I looked at the comps on it. She sells them all the time, so I don't pay attention to them. I just give them to her, or I don't get them. But those were unique, and there was a whole bunch of them, and pretty impressive um, if you do them in a lot in a collection. So Okay, this is uh, Angel of the North Anthropology brand. This is hard to show you, but it's got like this great um, lace, open lace back, wool sweater. Um, this one made me nervous. I almost didn't get it. This has got um, Masonic uh, Lodge information on it. It was a local 1886, retired from the Denver branch or the Denver, I guess it's a branch, it's a brotherhood maybe. Um, vintage jacket, and it's, wow, it doesn't feel like it was hardly worn. Made in the USA. It's an extra large, and I think that they're, from looking at the comps, it's either going to be a hit or a miss. So, it wasn't very heavy, so I decided I would take a gamble on it, because it really is a gamble. You don't know if it's going to do great or not at all. There weren't a whole lot of other ones that were that silky, shiny, uh, roller derby looking 1980s, early 80s kind of a look to me. But uh, maybe it'll maybe it'll do well because it's vintage and because it's Masonic. I don't know. So thanks, Bob, for this one. It's a Woolrich uh, cardigan sweater. Both of us looked it over. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. There's some like wider knit spacing but not holes so and and it smells good <laughs> we're getting down to the end guys this is the first time that i've picked up this brand these are a pair of men's jeans and it's called uh hold on simon miller good comps on these um and these are a size 30 34 so they could almost be a women's boyfriend jean. They're really cute. I wish I could show you better without... Can you see them? Don't they have a great shape to them? And um, it says lot 2012. So does that mean that they this is... that they're that old? They don't feel like they're that old. They don't feel like they've been worn very much at all. It's a... It's a Me Too fit and it's a marine style. Cute. Button fly. I liked these. I might try those on later. Uh, look at this. Vintage Lake Tahoe. It might be vintage. I think it's vintage lit with the uh, snapback. And this is like a foam. So I think it is. It doesn't say for sure. It just says elevation. Adult. Size. Adult. <laughs> Made in China. So isn't that a cool looking Lake Tahoe? I like it. I think those snapbacks are still doing pretty popular and a lot of people like them. So I had a book clearance. So I have, my book was 49 cents. I had um, 69 cents for, uh, what was the one thing that was 69 cents? Oh, it was seven and a half pounds. I think it was the, the toys, seven and a half pounds. She only charged me 69 cents for that. That was nice. And then the linens were 49 cents, so I paid $1.67 for the Pottery Barn sweater throw thing. And then it was 64.2 pounds for all the rest of that stuff at $1.39 a pound. So, it's a lot going on there, guys. I hope that you guys are finding good stuff. I hope that you're all staying healthy and safe. Um, and... I know that everybody's out there looking for things and there is enough stuff out there for everybody. I'm just glad that we're doing what we can to keep it out of the landfills. So thank you so much for popping on with me. Thank you so much for following me. I'm so grateful for all of you. Have a great night, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you guys again soon.